All right, hello everybody. I have returned, finally. It's been a long week. I'm not gonna lie. It's been a really, really long week. Hi. But it's good to be back. I am still in con some considerable pain at the moment, but 
F it, we ball. Oh yeah, I have Welkin again. Uh, I got tired of not getting enough primos to do anything with them, so. Studies in light and shadow. Oh boy. Okay. Oh, I didn't clear it. Dang it. Studies in light and shadow. A fontaine of enchantment. A man named Bresson seems to have encountered some trouble. Alright, well that's interesting. Guess we'll see what that's all about. What do we got over here? Oh. This is literally that thing. Okay, cool. I did all this already, right? Yep, I did all that. Mega Mecha Melee. Event has ended. Everything's bought out, so we're good there. Cool. Let's do some dailies. Alrighty. Jump to there first, I suppose. We'll get cracking there. Huh. So some of you may have seen, I brought home a new body for Ryuko. I am very excited about this. Kind of talking to myself at the moment. Who is there anybody here? No, it's literally just me right now. I'm live, right? Yeah, I'm live. If there's fire in your soul, you gotta rock and roll. So come on, let's get moving. Yeah, we'll see what happens. We got about an hour and a half or two to play, so... Come on, Jinyan. Is that all they are here, is level 55? Well, I can make mincemeat of him, nice. Good stuff right there. Jesus. That's a lot of freebies. You love to see it. Come on. Feel the beat. Stand with me. <laughs> oh, that worked okay. It almost feels wrong. Almost. Too easy. Uh, barely a scratch. Come on, over here. Wind, hear me. Pyrotechnics. <laughs> Service with a smile. Easy money. Alright, next. Where's the next one? There's one there, there, and there. Okay, got it. Oh, nice. Right by a waypoint. Perfect. Perfect. <sighs> it's good to be back on stream playing some Genshin again. 
Violet RPG mode. There we go. That's a little better. Let's go here. Speed run the dailies today. Can I get those sweet, sweet gems? How do we attract more folks in this weather? <gasps> right. How about we stage a rock till you drop snowstorm endurance challenge? <laughs> yeah. Oh, this guy. Do me a favor. Conditions appear horrendous. Okay. Sure. Okay, that's easy enough. One serving of ham. Okay. That seems a little bit comical, but fine, I guess. Like, whatever. Gotta remember when I was first starting off and, like, Dragon Spine was the place I was scared to go because of how strong the opponents were. Now they're like, aw, normal. <laughs> That's one. Two is literally up across from the thing. You know, these aren't spread out very well, buddy. Oh, there it is. Last one is where? Oh, it's down there. Does one get rid of this snow? Oh, I forget. Oh. Power core. Come on, big fella. Gotta love teleport points. So much easier. Breeze, where is he? Back here, no man's land again. Okay, well that was easy. 
that leaves just this one, which was a ruin guard, right? Yep. So I need to go over here. Maybe Dada Upa Gorge is the quickest place to go, I suppose. I don't like going to this one. It's a pain to get to. It's all the way over there. There really should be one more teleport waypoint here. Hi there, big fella. Power core. Dissipate. Okay, I'm officially getting better at that. That used to take me forever. Alright, daily comms, Fontaine. Add Astra. Thank you for completing today's. Com Alright. Oh, that's that taken care of. Ouch. All right. Where's my... Huh? All right. Oh, when I get the mail. Albedo. Okay, cool. And Razor. Cool. Notices. What do we got? What do we got? Event. It's literally just that event. Okay. I suppose we better go do that event. I'm curious. Do this looks like it's going to be some kind of photography event. There? What a strange location to pick. Uh, it act the water actually. What? Is that just something they started doing? I don't remember it being like that before. Oh, it's doing it for everybody regardless. Weird. says there's a Yeet.
What the? Dude. Okay. What the crap? That's weird. I must be missing some. Oh, it's over there. Okay. Show me the way, Seely. Oh, well, this way. How far away is the Seely stool? What the hell? right there finally <coughs> oh man that took a minute Where is this last thing I'm supposed to look at? It says there's four things here. But I'm confused. Alright, where's this other... Hey! Thank you for the hydrate, Mr. Longlegs. Much appreciated. Let me get it here real quick. Ah, Alright, thank you very much. How are you doing this evening? I am uh, still recovering, unfortunately, but... Ugh. It's, uh, been that kind of day. <laughs> uh, but yeah, what are you up to? How you been? What are you up to? What are you doing? Ugh. Must be these two that I have to talk to. The 
bit sleepy. My arm's a little funny for sleeping on it for 40 minutes. Yeah, that'll happen when you fall asleep on your arm like that. I, uh, I can relate. I've done that many, many times. <sighs> I wish mine would go away that quick. I'm, uh, uh, recovering from some pretty heavy-duty dental work, so... Take care of your kid. Or t yeah, take care of your kid's teeth. Take care of your teeth, kids. It's, uh, not... Not a smart idea to do what I did and let him go. Regretting that now. So, what do you do? Ouch. Oh, hang on a minute. Do it on the other side. Come on. Let go. Oh. Well, I got one big crack out of it. That felt better. <sighs> All right, there we go. Yeah, I will admit my teeth ain't the best. Same, man. I had to have, like, what was it, nine or ten fillings done across all my mouth? They're like, well, we could do them all in one day. That was a mistake. All of my teeth hurt all the time right now. Everything's sensitive. Everything's tender. Everything's uncomfortable. It sucks so bad. I don't recommend. Uh, so, yeah, that's, uh... I'm definitely regretting my choice to, uh, not take care of my teeth. That was kind of dumb. Oh, that's what that was. Like, I have two pings on Discord. Yeah, it was just, uh, I got like four extra teeth behind the usual ones. Ah, you're talking wisdom teeth. Those suck, too. I was blessed to not have those, and I was going to get away without ever having to have, you know, major dental work done. And then I decided that, you know what, yeah, I'm not going to take care of anything. I'm going to be depressive and sad and not take care of anything about myself because I didn't feel like I was worth it. And yeah, it was a big mistake. I regret every minute of that now. No going back and fixing it, though, so... Here we are. Struggle through it. Sometimes we just gotta learn from some learn some self love or respect at the very least. Yeah, I'm in the somewhat painful process of learning to love myself right now. It's um not very easy for me. I don't much care for myself. <sighs> so learning to like mine like myself is um it's tricky at best. Something I never really had to have before, you know? Okay. I kept forgetting about self-care. I'd rather help others than myself. Bro, same. That's what I always end up doing. That is always what I end up doing. And it's I, it's like, yeah, it's it's great to help others. But you got to take care of each other at the same time. It's like, yeah, that's... Uh, you got to take care of yourself, too.
Okay. There we go. Okay, this is really confusing. Okay, that was a weird quest I just did. Okay. What is this? So what's going on in the game? Well, <sighs> sorry, I'm trying. I, I didn't mean to go quiet there for a minute. This is like some goofy little side quest I'm just trying to do just to get like it's. Oh, God, not this again. These logic puzzles is such a pain in the rear. These logic puzzles don't make any sense. Ouch. Ugh. I'm trying to figure out exactly... I still don't know exactly how to do these, but this is just some little side quest. Quests that are annoying but give primos? That's what I'm hoping for, yeah. Okay... I need to get a conclusion here. Okay, buried safely crabs. Burying the sand, letting see the roast chicken couldn't reach for life. I see you really hated that side quest about those R and R's or whatever the cute plant fellows are called. I haven't actually hit that part yet. I'm still in the middle of Sumeru, so I'm still trying to figure that part out. Um, I'm not 100% sure what it's going to be, though. So uh, I'm, ex I'm excited to see it. Oh, there it goes.
There it goes. Let's see if that worked. Alright. Uh, but yeah, I'm still in the middle of Sumeru, trying to get through all of Sumeru and get through that story and so on and so forth, but I'm trying to do this quest in Fontaine, and this is like right next door to where I need to be, so I probably should have just skipped it, but I it when you run across a guy buried chest deep in the sand, I mean, it draws, um, it draws curiosity. <sighs> okay. Okay, so I just gotta go and do something with the machines? Seven cores? What? Oh, yep, that was worth it. 30 primos, okay. Easy money, perfect. Now, there should be another thing over here. Yep, there's a guy over here. Finally, got it. Okay. What are you doing? Where did you come from? Did you hear you coming? Still in the water. If I didn't regain my balance, future of photography in Fontaine would have gone down the water. Sorry about that. Damn. Wait. Don't you know how to swim? And you're from Fontaine, aren't you? Okay. Okay, so you made an underwater camera, let me guess. Why don't I just take some, oh, excuse me, some photos for you? Okay. Okay, so camera to record target object. When you take a photo, if the field of view contains an object you need to record, information related to it will be displayed. Adjust camera distance and zoom more easily to record said objects. Take photos of anything that meets relevant requirements. You cannot find anything that should be recorded. You can try searching the area of rest and recommend it. Okay. So. Wait, I just have to take pictures? For. Seriously? This is it? Honestly, you might work to nap. Need to find a good time to get some decent sleep. I understand, my dude. No worries there. Uh, please get some rest and uh, enjoy your nap. I will not be on a terribly long time tonight anyways, so... Trust me, I understand. That was literally all I had to do for... Okay. I need to find another xenochromatic thing. Shh. 
Should basically tell me a little bit more about those. Those things that are like the... See, those animals you steal to get the power-ups from. Really? Oh, there's another one. Noise. Where's the... Oh, there it is. thing had weird looking rocks that looked like it was ready to take the hit. Okay, that's really noise going to put me to sleep. Tell I'm tired from how uh, how quiet I am right now. I'm quite tired. try over here see if I have any better luck I did yep perfect is that yep there we go all right that was easy so that's literally just find three things and take pictures wasn't there a daily quest I can do with this thing yeah, I wanted to go there. Namusha Relay Station or Antoine Roger Aircraft. That's really easy. It's just up here. That's so easy to take a picture of. Like, it's right there. Oh, 
What does this thing want? Oh, during studies of light and shadow. Or a large... What was that? Pneumonia relay? Whatever they call that. Pneuma relay? I don't know where that's at. What I do know is that we got our primos for the day, and they are looking... Big good. Nice. Oh, the... No, the shop didn't reset. Never mind. For a second, I thought the shop reset. Hmm. Alright. It says I have three viewers. Cool. Who else is here? Oh, Roa and Smasher. Cool. Hi, Roa. How's it going? Hello, hello. Uh, I got everything I needed to do in Genshin done, and... Well, first things first, let me apologize for being gone for so long. I've, I've not done much this week. It's uh, been an up and down week. The weekend was busy, like always. Monday was my dad's first day back from vacation, so it was chaotic. Tuesday, I got all my dental work done. I spent Tuesday in pain. Last night, I don't know if you guys saw the Discord or not. Let me pull it up here. Last night, I went... Uh, I can't exactly say where, but... I went to a place to buy a thing. Meet the new body for Ryuko. I picked up the good shell car I need to make this crazy thing happen, so... It's in good shape. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. But so, yeah, that's, uh... This is what I have now. It needs a lot of work, but I got it at a good price. So, when well, you can imagine, I mean, that's the trunk. What's going on with Ryuko? Well, Ryuko has a lot of rust. It came out of New York, upstate New York, up by the lakes. So, it's got a lot, a lot, a lot of rust. Um, so much so that it's... I bought this? Yes, I did buy this last night. This is mine now. Um, I still have Ryuko, the actual like white car you guys have know you guys have come to know. I still have it. This car is going to be its donor body because my, Ryuko is so rusty. I can't really fix all of the rust, so I brought this home. I found this online, and I was able to bring it home so that I can put this car um, into use to become Ryuko's new like body. So this is mostly not rusted. This is... Uh, take out mostly in your correct, Roa. This is the cleanest car I've ever seen. It came out of the south. I believe Georgia, to be specific. So there's no rust on it. <sighs> this car's never seen the salt. It's never seen the rust. It's never seen that rot. Which is uh, cool. This is, what I, this is what I picked up. This is where I was last night. That's a lot of work to transfer parts. Yes, it is. But you know what's more work? Fixing rust. Fixing rust sucks. A lot. So I bought this instead because it's actually... And fun fact, it's also expensive to repair rust. Fixing this car will be cheaper than repairing the rust. Because I got this car pretty cheap, so... And I was able... I got... It's, uh, well, you can tell that this is the trunk. That's what the car looks like, and, uh, whoops. This is just the, some of the garbage that was in the back. It's like, big yikes. It looks decent, mostly. The body itself is really good. It's, uh, all of the other garbage that's in it, and, the, like, the, you can tell. The back of the car is all red, with the exception of this dark car. Excuse me, dark door, but I can fix that. 
Anything useful from the trash? Um, potentially, yeah. There's some parts in there and stuff that could be usable. Um, let's go look real quick. This is the whole rear seat back. Um, there's an A-pillar molding in here somewhere. This is just a box of bolts and nuts and hardware. Um, the entire HVAC box. Some interior trim panels and stuff like that. There's definitely some useful stuff in here. Now... Most of what's going to be used is going to be off of the, uh, off of the actual car I have now. Whoops, that wasn't what I wanted to click. Most of that stuff will be coming off of the car I already own, just because. But the rest of it will be, uh, I'd like to carry over some of this stuff from, uh, my car. Some of it will come from this car. It's going to be kind of like, uh, imagine if you have two puzzles that are cut exactly the same. They'll all fit together. They just, it'll be more patchwork than it will be a picture. <sighs> At least until I'm done with it, of course. Bumpers look real rusty. That's not rust. Um, that's the plastic they're made out of. This bumper is made out of a yellow plastic material. So, as the paint fades, it turns yellow. I promise that is not rust. and be, It actually can't rust because it's plastic. So, the, the body, you can repaint it then. That's the plan. Um, not to mention it's going to get some uh, adjustments and stuff. It'll have uh, adjustable suspension. It's going to have a body kit on it from Vale side so that it actually looks better and sits. it looks like it'll sit lower to the ground. Um, it'll have a subwoofer. Did you have this delivered? No, I had to go fetch it. Um, just last night after work, I got off work at 5 o'clock and I turned over 400 miles in the truck just last night. 400 to 300 might have been 300 miles. Whatever it was. I was out for like 6-7 hours. Uh, I drove it home. No. 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 Um, hang on. Let me post this video and you're going to get a better idea. Is it even working? Um, let me just post this video so I can show you guys um, the true state of this car. Oh, and I'm also going to post something in memes while I'm at it because why not? Where's memes at? Where are the memes? There it is. Um, okay. Yep, that'll work. So let's go back to... Did it load yet? Did it load yet? Yep, there it is. Alright. So... All right, so I've been teasing this since the weekend, and I think it's finally time to show you guys what I've been teasing. Here you go, Roa. Well, this is how I brought it home. It be this. Um, I can't show you under the hood because there's no engine and it's currently tow strapped down for towing purposes. But this is the new 240. This will be Ryuko's new body. I brought it home just last night and it is going to become the new home for all of well everything basically for Ryuko I'll actually open the hood why does the front look fresher um, the front has been uh, changed it's not the original parts on the front but the front's getting changed anyways um, the front is going to be modified heavily to accommodate those uh, fixed headlights for the Sil 80. I can say for sure. Can I get the hood up? Yeah, that's what it looks like under the hood right now. There's no engine, there's no transmission, there's nothing. <laughs> like, that's the firewall, that's the brakes. This is the brakes, this is the firewall... This is where the engine and transmission should normally be. They, they aren't. They aren't there. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, 
It's a work in progress. <laughs> the plan is, for right now, this is going to be the parts car. Well, the, the base car, I should say. This car will be stripped um, within an inch of its life of just about everything. Brake lines. Fuel lines. Uh, that's about the only thing that's going to stay on the cars. The brake lines, the fuel lines, and stuff. And they may even come off for cleaning purposes. This car will be stripped of every single component it has. Interior, exterior, and so on. If it's on the car, it's coming off. This car will be a base. Got it for cheap, I assume. Yeah, you could say that. Um, it's probably a little more than you're thinking, but it's an S chassis, so they have the drift tax on them, which means they come a bit more expensive than usual. Um, I won't talk price, but let's put it this way. I got a good deal on it. We'll say that. It was good enough that I brought it home because I thought the price was appropriate for the for the condition the car was in, especially considering there's no rust on it. That's impossible to find here. So finding one that was close enough to home to go get that has no rust, worth it. As long as it doesn't drain your savings. Well, it didn't do that because I was able to kind of... Uh, let's put it this way. I'm careful with my money and this will pay off down the road. This is going to save me money. It's going to save me time. And it's going to make the build speed up by almost two years. This will save me two years of building my car by not having to repair rust and probably a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars worth of rust repair stuff. Like in terms of materials, tools, I probably would have had to spend a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars to repair the car that I no longer have to spend because I bought this car instead. Lucky find then, very lucky indeed. So what I'm going to be able to do is take, and this car is going to get gutted. It is going to be completely done and ready as a, basically what we call a unibody, which is just the base chassis of the car. No suspension, no tires, no wheels, no engine, no brakes, nothing. All bone, uh, just like they were coming down the assembly line. Hey, here's the body, you start putting stuff on it. I'm going to start with that body. And then I'm going to start putting stuff on it off of my car. I'm going to gut the interiors on both of them. And I'm going to, well, I'm going to have the other one gutted already. Then I can, I'm going to take the best components and put them in the new car. If I don't have a good enough component, I'll save up and go get it. And I'll work on other stuff in the meantime. Suspension. We'll get all the suspension on there. All of the broken stuff's getting replaced. Anything that doesn't work, it's getting replaced. It'll, it'll take a little time. I can't just go out and drop a fat wad and do it all at once. But when I'm done, this thing is going to be probably one of the best cars I've ever built. i just got to do it right. But the main thing will be getting... Because I've got a subframe, which is good. I've actually got two. The one in my car and the one in this car. So I'll be able to go through make sure this car is completely done and ready. The new body work on it, everything. I'll be able to make sure this body is ready to accept all of its new components. And then I'm going to lay all of the wiring for my underglow. I'm going to line up. I'm going to lay the underglow. I'm going to wire everything auxiliary. That way it can all be tucked away and easy to service, easy to work on. And then I'll work on putting the actual car back together. I'll run all my stereo wires, all of my wiring harnesses. Everything will be done before I try to rebuild this car. That way when I do, I can rebuild it and drive it. It'll be done. I'll have a SIL 80. I'm hoping to have this car done in the next year. I would like to have this car operational, running, driving on the road as a SIL 80 inside the year is the plan. Now it may not be perfect. Yeah, I may still be waiting on new seats or a better steering wheel but I want the car running and operational in a year. I think it's reasonable. I think it can be done. Yeah, 240 spin. Pretty much, that's going to be my life for the next year or so, is working on this car. It's going to be a busy year. Going to have a long winter. It is happening. Yes, it's happening, finally. 
I've been putting in a lot of work towards this. This is something I've been waiting oh, on for quite a long time. So, oh, right there, actually, you can see the rack. This is the rack and pinion. This is the piece that's broken on my car that keeps my power steering from working. So I have a new rack now. I can make my power steering work. Finally, I'll be able to fix my power steering and maybe even my air conditioning. I could have air con in my old ass car. That would be awesome. I so want that. Yeah. I am so fixing that if I can. I am so freaking fixing that. I want the air con to work. I want all of my blower motors and stuff to work. I want everything on this car to work flawlessly. Like, I don't even want to have to think about it. I just want to have everything in this car perfect so I can enjoy it. So, no rust. So. <sighs> Big thing's coming. Ryuko 2.0. This is where it starts. But, yep, that's my, uh... So that's my new project. <laughs> Ow, my teeth. Ah. They are quite sore still. I'm gonna be sore for a bit, but... So, yeah, that's, uh... That's my car. That's what I ended up... I did. I did a thing. I did a big thing. But I'll be excited to show you guys the progress. I'm actually trying to, before I start working on this too much, I'm going to film everything I can on my phone. Um, I am actually trying to get my hands on a GoPro. And I am hoping to do some filming of working on this car. I would like to make this a some type of content. I, I want to make this uh, I want to make this something that you guys can all experience. I want to show you what a real car build looks like for an average Joe who isn't, you know, chip foos with Discovery Channel's unlimited funding. I want to show you guys what a real build looks like for real people in the real world. I'm doing this on a shoestring budget. And damn it, I'm going to put it together and it's going to be the best damn car I can make it. It'll take a lot of work. Take a lot of patience. It's going to take a lot of heart and soul. And some blood. And sweat. And tears. And knowing my luck, probably some more blood. Uh, I get the feeling I'm going to get hurt on this one a little bit. But... The day, maybe not blood. Oh, no. When you're working, Roa, if you're working on an old car, you best be prepared to get hurt. I mean, you stuff is sharp. Stuff is tight. You're going to pull a muscle. You're going to cut yourself. You're going to bleed. You're going to get scratched. That's how it works. But it's okay. The car's red. Nobody will know the difference. It'll be fine. But yeah, so... Ryuko 2.0. <laughs> okay. That's going to be tricky. I can't talk very well right now with my teeth healing. My streaming is difficult right now. All right. But yeah, I think I'm going to go to bed now. Um, I didn't get... I got a really late start, and I wanted to start earlier, but life happened, and I couldn't make it in time, so... I at least got a good hour's worth of streaming in. Got to show off my car a little bit and show you guys the new plan. You guys wait till... Well, just wait till you see what this car becomes. This car is going to become... This, this little S chassis is about to become more than you might have ever imagined. Watch me work my magic. It's going to be a lot, but damn it, it's going to be worth it. Hey, there's the violet wink emote. Thanks, Ra. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and call it a night. I wanted to stay on a little later, but I'm 
Oh no, it's dropping. No, no, no. Okay, we're good. Small blip in the internet there. But yeah, I'm going to call it a night. I need some sleep, and um, hopefully some sleep will help my teeth continue to heal so I can talk easier. Right now, talking is um, quite uncomfortable, so... <sighs> but yeah, stay tuned. Like I said, I'm going to talk a little more, more about this car as things go on. I'm going to try to get my hands on that GoPro so I can start filming. But yeah, so stay tuned for that, and I will catch you all. Well, you all. I'll catch you later, Roa. Enjoy your day. I know it's about noon for you, so have a good lunch. Enjoy your day. I hope your day goes well. I'm going to go get some sleep and um, try to continue to heal since I'm still a little bit uh, ouchy. Have a good night. Yeah, you enjoy your day. Like I said, I wish I could stream more, but I need to keep getting some good sleep, making sure I'm healing up. The more sleep I get, the better I'm going to do. So, <laughs> uh, But it's good seeing you. I'm good to, it's glad to be back. I've hated being off recently, but got to do what you got to do. So, Have a good night, and I will catch you guys later on. My name's Soji, and I'm out of here. Enjoy your evening. Or your day, or your morning. Whatever it is where you are. <laughs> Good night. I'll catch you later.